Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Armstrong, and I wanted to speak today about kids fidgeting. Now, when I was a teacher uh, in special education, I was constantly telling my kids to stop fidgeting. Uh, they'd be tapping on the desks with their pencils. They'd be uh, tapping their feet. They'd been slouching in their desk, turning around, changing positions. And it seemed to me that this was distracting them from their work. Now it turns out research suggests that fidgeting may actually be good for students, especially those students who've been diagnosed with ADHD. And the reason for that is that kids who are identified with ADHD are actually understimulated, not overstimulated as it seems. The reason for that being uh, some glitches in the neurotransmitter dopamine, which is the uh, pleasure-seeking, novelty-seeking uh, brain chemical, and causes it causes these kids to actually um, crave more stimulation, and they need more stimulation to bring themselves up to what for them is an optimal level. And so fidgeting is starting to look like a learning strategy, which is uh, quite interesting. Now, a lot of teachers have been quite creative in allowing fidgeting in the classroom. They've given kids fidgeting tools like silly putty or a tennis ball or a koosh ball. Uh, they've installed what are called bouncy bands, uh, bungee cord type things on the feet of a chair or desk so that kids can kind of bounce their knees or bounce their feet off of the bouncy bands. And there's even a shop called the Therapy Shop, which uh, offers a lot of different fidgeting toys, including the very famous fidget spinner that uh, received a lot of news attention last year. Uh, there is research support now for the fact that this fidgeting actually seems to improve the attention and focus of kids who are diagnosed with ADHD. So it requires uh, some of us who've over the period of years acquired some classroom wisdom, um, it requires us to change some of our ideas and opinions and uh, learn some new innovative ways of helping kids with the ADHD diagnosis fidget in responsible ways, I should say. Now, if a kid is getting out of his seat all the time, uh, or is fidgeting in a way that he's obviously not paying attention to the schoolwork, then you've got a situation. And I think you need to sit down and talk with the student about, you know, whether or not what they're doing is helping them focus or not, if they feel comfortable. This may be a stressed out kid who needs actually some stress management tools rather than fidgeting. Um, might may be an indication of uh, underlying anxiety. But for many kids, fidgeting uh, will continue to be um, a learning style or a learning method that will help them learn more effectively. Thanks so much for listening. If you're interested in following up this particular strategy or learning other strategies for helping kids who are diagnosed with ADHD, get my book, The Myth of the ADHD Child, 101 Ways to Improve Your Child's Behavior and Attention Span Without Drugs, Labels, or Coercion. Thanks so much.